Hello everyone, the Kentucky Patriot here. We're out on the range today. Once again, we're gonna to try to defy the myths of birdshot. Now, I don't wanna sound hypocritical because I do have a shotgun ready, but it's not my primary uh, weapon in home defense. So I'm not trying to talk you into a shotgun for home defense or out of a shotgun for home defense, but I do want to try to clear up some myths and maybe bring some uh, uh, shotgun uh, information to light because we keep hearing different things about shotguns and whether you choose one or not it's up to you but I don't want you to make a choice with false information and sometimes people it's not that they're lying to you they're just repeating what they've been heard or what they've been uh, told information that's been passed down but specifically we're talking about birdshot and I've done a lot of videos with shotguns um, I've done a lot of videos with with meat targets with water jugs different things uh, try to you know show the projectile um, whether it's a slug or buckshot or birdshot or whatever the case may be and try to make a realistic um, viewpoint for you to make up your own mind uh, but i will tell you this i'm a fuel director and bomber by trade so unfortunately i've seen multiple shootings so it's not just range uh, the information i'm bringing you but i can also bring you some real world experience and we hear things like birdshot is for birds they're not effective now I want you to understand we're not talking range. This is literally for home defense purposes. We are literally demonstrating home defense range. So, you know, 25, 50 yards, that's not what we're talking about here, but we're talking about is a bird shot round shell going to be able to defend you and your family. Now, it, whether you choose bird shot or not, we want you to understand that it's not going to be near as powerful as something like buckshot or, or slug, but you don't have the, the, the over penetration worries as you would with something like buckshot. So I'd hate for somebody to have close uh, pro neighbors in their proximity of where they live and say, well, I'm gonna go ahead and go with buckshot because birdshot isn't effective. When actually I'm gonna, sh I've showed to you in several videos, but once again, birdshot is extremely effective at close range because you gotta know your uh, uh, target and what's behind it and you're responsible for every round you shoot. So if you're shooting something like a buckshot shell, that has multiple projectiles, unfortunately, you can get shots on target and also still miss at the same time. So you can hit a target and still have one or two flyers that may over penetrate where I'm not telling you that birdshot will instantly stop in sheetrock, but we made a video as well on sheetrock with shotguns and in other rounds that birdshot will not penetrate near the rounds of uh, like drywall and sheetrock as something like a slug, a, a 22, a nine millimeter or buckshot. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna set up a target here and what I'm gonna do, I've used meat before, I've used water, we even used gel in a couple videos, uh, but today I'm gonna use a little bit different target, not to be uh, grotesque, but I just kinda wanna show you what will happen if there's a round object that's about this big around, that's hard, that can represent different things. Um, versus a birdshot round out of a shotgun. We'll try a couple different rounds and maybe uh, hopefully enlighten you on what actually a birdshot shell out of a 12 gauge is capable of. Now the first round that we're gonna start out with or shell, some people call them shells, rounds, whatever, uh, we're gonna start out with is probably something I would recommend if I was using birdshot and that's your high brass round. Uh, number five shot is, is a great choice. Now it will come with a little more recoil. I'm gonna shoot something else, low brass. It's not as much recoil here in a second, but I wanna show you what, uh, this is just two and three quarter, not a three inch, three and a half inch, anything like that. This is just your Winchester, Super X, what you find at Walmart, your big game stores, your local gun stores, um, whatever the case may be, but, but they're very readily, readily available. You can find them anywhere. Number five shot, high brass out of a 12 gauge shotgun. And the reason I explain stuff, there's already gonna be people say, you talk too much, but you have to explain what you're doing and why. And I always like, you know, to say I'm, I'm using a 12 gauge, the, the rounds I'm using and why we're doing what we're doing. Uh, and I love to hear from you guys, but it helps in the comments section. Like, well, what was you shooting? What round was that? What shot was that? So I try to give you as much pertinent information as I can when we're doing these tests. So that way it can help you understand and also have questions that you may have that, that, that isn't easily answered. Like what round am I using? What, what gun am I using? So that, so that's why I try to explain what I try to explain. But anyway, we're at the range. I'm gonna go over here and set it up. I'm gonna have a water jug and then that round target I was telling you about. And let's see what this Winchester Super X 12 gauge shell high brass number five does to our target. It's extremely hot and humid. 
but we're about to cool things down here. Mr. Coconut, let's see what happens here, bud. Now these are not the typical rounds you would use for home defense. These are the typical rounds that you'd use to maybe just target skate, uh, clay pigeons, just, just for fun. Uh, but let's say you don't have access to a 20, uh, a 16, a 28, or a 410. 12 is all you got, and maybe you're getting older. Maybe you're a small frame woman. Maybe, sorry, the bugs are really bad out. Maybe uh, you have some shoulder issues, and, and a 12 gauge is what you're using for home defense but you want to use a little less recoil not high brass not number five shot take it on down to these light target loads this is 12 gauge seven and a half shot winchester available everywhere if you've shot a shotgun i'm pretty sure you run across these so anyway we're going to set up the target again and see how the target reacts to a little tiny low brass two and three quarter load uh seven and a half shot now I totally realize I could get closer, I can move, you know, back a few steps, but ultimately I'm just trying to get a reasonable distance because when you're in your living room, you're not going to be against the wall with your back against the wall and him stand against the perpetrator, stand with his back against the wall either. It's going to be a quick engagement, there's going to be movement, they're probably going to be running or charging. Um, hallway the same thing if you have a long hallway you're not going to be at one end and even if you are and your back is against the wall, you still have several uh, inches of barrel, buttstock, gun, um, and plus as, as he is coming your direction, um, it's going to close the distance pretty quickly. So that's why I'm just guessing a standard typical distance, what I would feel like would be a typical actual living room, uh, kitchen, bedroom, hallway type scenario. So here we are, Winchester seven and a half shot versus this mighty coconut. Let's see what happens. Kentucky, we drink coffee year-round, sweet tea year-round. So if it's 100 degrees or it's 10 degrees, we still have coffee and sweet tea on the menu. So anyway, when we do these videos, it's not to be standoffish. It's not to be a know-it-all. It's literally just trying to bring facts because we hear things all the time that's just simply not true. And it's not that we're trying to be Mr. Right or, like I said, a know-it-all. It's just that we want to bring relevant information that, that when you make your decision of how to best protect you and your family, you're getting the best possible uh, information, not what Uncle Louie said, not what your uh, buddy's dad's friend's neighbor's catfishing buddy told him, but literally real world experience that you've seen for yourself on video. And if you can get to the range, I urge you to test these rounds for yourself, whether you're using a shotgun, uh, rifle, pistol, whatever the case may be, your EDC, you test the rounds for yourself. But one of the main reasons that we do the ballistics testing like we do, one, we enjoy it, but two, <clears throat> there's, there's a lot of folks that have said, Thanks, because we can go to a, a range, a public range, or we have an indoor range we can go to. They live in maybe a more rural area, uh, or urban area, I'm sorry, and they, they don't have access to a, a range like this where they can shoot meat targets, where they can shoot ballistics gel, where they can shoot fruit, where they can shoot coconuts, where they can shoot wood. All the tar tannerite, the targets that we've shot over the years, um, they don't have access to that. So seeing actual, watching a video, seeing it happen right before your eyes, is a very good indication of, of, of what a round is truly capable of. And I'm not trying to be gruesome and compare that coconut to anything gruesome, but, but it makes the point. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be vile or gruesome in any way, but it makes a very good point that even with those little low brass target rounds, a 12 gauge shotgun is very capable. A lot of you mentioned cut shells. I have done cut shells videos. Now, the reason the cut shells, I like them, and, and the main thing with them is that'll help you with distance. Now, birdshot uh, spreads out really fast, especially the small shot, and at range, it becomes ineffective really quick. And what uh, a cut shell can do, if you don't know what a cut shell is, go back and watch my video on cut shells, but the, it, it sends one projectile down, it makes a slug, it's a poor man's slug is what it's called. But if you want a single shot, and they're very accurate, or if you want a um, projectile to go down range, a cut shell is great, but even a lot of people say, well, birdshot for home defense, you need to cut the shell. Well, not really, because at that range, the birdshot hasn't spread out and dissipated. It, it, it still comes out in one big power punch. So 
Um, you definitely cutting the shell is not necessary for home defense. Like I said, if you want to do it for range, you know, you're, you are going to shoot 25 yards, then, then yeah, do, do a cut shell. But other than that, your bird shot, home defense range, 12 gauge shotgun will absolutely protect you and your family. If you're worried about a 20 gauge, I didn't have a coconut, but I didn't do some 20 gauge videos. I uh, think some water jugs and a while back, we done some with meat targets. Like I said, I have no stock in bird shot, shotguns. I don't care if you use one or not, <clears throat> but I'm just trying to bring you information that will prove to you and, and show you that if you do pick bird shot, you don't have to worry about it not doing the job. If you're wanting it because I don't want worried about over penetration and you want to go with bird shot, I'm telling, I'm not telling you something that I wouldn't do. I'm telling you, if somebody said, we're, we're, you can spend the week in this cabin, you and your family out in the woods, but all we've got is this 12 gauge shotgun with a uh, case of um, uh, bird shot, do you feel like you and your family will be safe here? I would totally defend my family with that shotgun with bird shot in a home defense situation, not feel outmanned, not feel like gun, not feel underpowered, not worry about it. Up close, like I said, unfortunately, as, as an embalmer, I have seen many cases, and I can assure you, if a shotgun hits, it devastates. Uh, kind of like Ivan Drago from Rocky. What he hits, he destroys. Shotgun's pretty much the Ivan Drago, Rocky Four of the gun world for home defense. May God bless you. Wish you and yours the very best. Uh, would you do me a huge favor? Would you like, share, and subscribe? I'd really appreciate it. It means so much to us. I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm just here uh, enjoying the great outdoors with my family. And please, please, please like, share, and subscribe. Check me out on Instagram, Facebook. Wish you and yours the absolute very best. May God bless you. The Kentucky Patriot, signing off.